We want to offer the best possible stage 5 solution available to the market. To succeed, it's critical for us to understand the day-to-day -day operation on the customer side. So here we are in the middle of the forest, in the middle of Sweden. Behind me, you can see an operator using a Volvo Penta engine. So let's start here when we talk about challenges on the future stage 5 engines. Think about doing an unscheduled service in this environment. It's almost impossible. So in order to avoid these kinds of situations, uptime and serviceability is the key. Here in the Roro terminal, the challenge is the fact that there is not always a ship that needs to be on or offloaded. This means that for certain periods of time, the engines are going to run at low loads, low temperatures and risking soot buildup in the particulate filter. To challenge this, we have been working with Regeneration Zero as a vision for the engineering team, minimizing this risk and boosting productivity in the machines. Here we are at a sawmill with yet another set of challenges. In this case, one of them being the insulation footprint caused by the sheer size of the machine, making it necessary for us to mimic the insulation footprint from the stage four engine. Another improvement we have made is to take the heat reaction down, opening up for new radiator insulations. Behind me, you can see a Volvo Penta powered crusher, and it's easy to see how the environment is one of the major challenges for us in this application. In order to handle this environment, we have been working within several areas, all the way from power density, serviceability and the options the engine can be specified with. One of these options are the shrink mesh wiring harness. Everything to increase the resistance to dust and shaving, boost uptime, minimize downtime and increase the profitability for the end customer. The main challenge with the agriculture application is uptime during a certain period of time, they need to be operating 24 seven. And in order to ensure this, we have extended the service intervals and we have taken the fuel consumption down, which is gonna benefit both the operator and the environment. The reason we spend so much time with customers and operators in their day-to-day -day operation is to understand their challenges in all phases from installation to operation to maintenance. This mission will never stop.